the Saviour said. All nature, all formations, all creatures exist in and with one another. And they will be resolved again into their own roots. For the nature of matter is resolved into the roots of its own nature alone. One who has ears to hear, let them hear. Peter said to him, Since you have explained everything to us, tell us this also. What is the sin of the world? The Saviour said, There is no sin. But it is you who make sin when you do the things that are like the nature of adultery, which is called sin. That is why the good came into your midst, to the essence of every nature, in order to restore it to its root. Then he continued and said, that is why you become sick and die, for you are deprived of the one who can heal you. One who has a mind to understand, let them understand. Matter gave birth to a passion that has no equal, which proceeded from something contrary to nature. Then there arises a disturbance in its whole body. That is why I said to you, be of good courage, and if you are discouraged, be encouraged in the presence of the different forms of nature. One who has ears to hear, let them hear.
When the Blessed One had said this, he greeted them all, saying, Peace be with you. Receive my peace unto yourselves. Beware that no one lead you astray, saying, Lo here or lo there. For the Son of Man is within you. Follow after him. Those who seek will find. Go then and preach the gospel of the kingdom. Do not lay down any rules beyond what I appointed you, and do not give a law like the lawgiver, lest you be constrained by it. When he said this, he departed. But they were grieved. They wept greatly, saying, How shall we go to the Gentiles and preach the gospel of the kingdom of the Son of Man? If they did not spare him, how will they spare us? Then Mary stood up, greeted them all, and said to her brethren, Do not weep, and do not grieve, nor be irresolute. For his grace will be entirely with you, and will protect you. But rather, let us praise his greatness, for he has prepared us and made us into what we are. When Mary said this, she turned their hearts to the good and they began to discuss the words of the Saviour. Peter said to Mary, Sister, we know that the Saviour loved you more than the rest of women. Tell us the words of the Saviour, which you remember, which you know, but we do not, nor have we heard them.
Mary answered and said, What is hidden from you, I will proclaim to you. And she began to speak to them these words. I, she said, I saw the Lord in a vision, and I said to him, Lord, I saw you today in a vision. He answered and said to me, Blessed are you that you do not waver at the sight of me. For where the mind is, there is the treasure. I said to him, Lord, how does one who sees the vision see it? Through the soul or through the spirit? The Saviour answered and said, One does not see through the soul nor through the spirit. But the mind that is between the two, that is what sees the vision. Desire said, I did not see you descending, but now I see you ascending. Why do you lie, since you belong to me? The soul answered and said, I saw you. You did not see me, nor recognize me. I served you as a garment, and you did not know me. When it said this, the soul went away rejoicing greatly. It came to the third power, which is called ignorance. The power questioned the soul, saying, Where are you going? In wickedness are you bound? But you are bound. Do not judge. And the soul said, Why do you judge me, although I have not judged? I was bound, though I have not bound. I was not recognized, but I have recognized that the all is being dissolved. Both the earthly things and the heavenly
When the soul had overcome the third power, it went upwards and saw the fourth power, which took seven forms. The first form is darkness. The second, desire. The third, ignorance. The fourth is the excitement of death. The fifth is the kingdom of the flesh. The sixth is the foolish wisdom of the flesh. The seventh is the wrathful wisdom. These are the seven powers of wrath. They ask the soul, Whence do you come, slayer of humans? Or where are you going, conqueror of space? The soul answered and said, What binds me has been slain. And what turns me about has been overcome. And my desire has been ended. And ignorance has died. In a neon, I was released from a world and in a type from a type and from the fetter of oblivion which is transient. From this time on will I attain to the rest of time of the season of the eon in silence. When Mary had said this, she fell silent, since it was to this point that the Saviour had spoken with her. But Andrew answered and said to the brethren, Say what you wish to say about what she has said. I at least do not believe that the Saviour said this, for certainly these teachings are strange ideas. Peter answered and spoke concerning these same things. He questioned them about the Saviour. Did he really speak privately with a woman and not openly to us? Are we to turn about and all listen to her? Did he prefer her to us?
Then Mary wept and said to Peter, My brother Peter, what do you think? Do you think that I have thought this up myself in my heart? Or that I am lying about the Saviour? Levi answered and said to Peter, Peter, you have always been hot-tempered. Now I see you contending against the woman like the adversaries. But if the Saviour made her worthy, who are you indeed to reject her? Surely the Saviour knows her very well. That is why he loved her more than us. Rather, let us be ashamed and put on the perfect man and separate as he commanded us and preach the gospel. not laying down any other rule or other law beyond what the Saviour said. And when they heard this, they began to go forth to proclaim and to preach.